Hi folks, this is all the fruit that I think here. I think this rooster is louder than me. Well, I think here finally I found the true Kairatia trifolia. Or, yeah, bush grape or kangaroo berry or lacum berries as they call them in parts of Sarawak. Well, I'm still not a hundred percent sure, but pretty sure. How come all this? Well, first time I encountered something like this on the market of Cebu, from there I know that it's edible. Here he is. Wanna have your own YouTube channel, mister? Mr. Rooster? Well, anyway, well, first I found it at the market in Cebu, then I found it near Blaga. And then this year I found a couple other species of this genus around Malaysia. And at first I thought the stuff I found at Plaga is Kairatia trifolia, but this year I realized, oh, wait, it has more than three leaves. Three leaflets. So it must be another species, but this year, look at that. Three leaflets. Well, this one, one leaflet is a little bit shredded, but still three leaflets, three leaflets, three leaflets. One, two, three leaflets, three leaflets, everywhere three leaflets. And here are the berries. Oh, come on. And most of them are perfectly ripe. Look at this beautiful color. Some beautiful green ones, which are of course unripe, and some ripe ones which look like black velvet. Here those are even more ripe and here there seems to be one small half ripe one. So let's try those things. First let's try the completely unripe ones. Mm. Not bad, except for the octalite crystals. The taste is like a pleasant Unripe grape or cherry plum. There are a couple of seeds inside. It's a devitation, so what you are seeing here is basically a type of grape vine. But the yeah, oxalate crystals, well, in a lot of fruit, the oxalate crystals kind of disappear once they get ripe. Uh, let's try this. By the way, this is growing here wild. I've seen this in a lot of places in this coastal area of Sarawak growing wild. This one is growing in a village, <coughs> but some are also growing outside of villages on the river banks and roadsides. Those are the ripe fruit. Mm -hmm. Still sour, but less sour. I think the ripe berries don't have oxalate crystals. I can still feel them a little bit in my mouth, but I think they are from the first unripe fruit. They are not unpleasant. It's a little bit of this taste of some American grapes, which also sometimes have oxalate crystals. Okay, maybe the ripe fruits have a little bit. I cannot say because first I ate the unripe one. Mm. The flesh is jelly-like, also like some of those American grapes. Yep, not bad. Inferior to most cultivated vitis varieties, but definitely superior to most wild ones. Here, by the way, since it's in the Viteshi, <coughs> it has tendrils, <coughs> like a real grapevine. Look at them here. There are lots of, uh, there are lots of uh, species in the Viteshi which don't have leaves which look like <coughs> grape leaves, but the vines usually resemble grapevines a lot, and most of them have tendrils. So, folks, this was Kairatia, finally, hopefully, Trifolia. Stay tuned for a lot more fruit videos from the beautiful island of Borneo. And don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.